Hey, press play. It's Jeremy, and today is Tuesday. This week, we are doing life experiences. And I actually kind of chose this element. It was said jokingly, and I was like, wait, we should actually do this. So the element, you're never gonna guess, is umbrella. So, I just opened an umbrella indoors and YOLO. So when you look at an umbrella, you can see that it stops from all the rain hitting you. You know, like it protects you. And so I decided to talk about a life experience in which you become an umbrella. You'll get it when I'm done talking. So in middle school, when I first came out as gay, I went through this really weird little year of um, extreme like depression in a, in a sense. I faced a lot of bullying because I came out in a really small town that was really new to something like this and they weren't exactly welcoming. I have hiccups. And that was when I was kind of needing an umbrella. Well, the summer of 2011, I got this amazing opportunity with this organization called Glisten which is the Gay, Lesbian, Straight Education Network. And I actually got to fly to LA, all expenses paid, and I got to do this awesome kind of like, it's kind of like uh, a conference. You know, you learn a bunch of new things. And I got to learn about all the different ways that we can use media to stop bullying. So I got super, super involved, and this organization kind of became my umbrella and taught me how we can all become umbrellas, if that makes sense. So I decided to make this video as kind of like a calling out um, about what to do when you see someone getting bullied or what to do in a situation when you know that someone is just getting pelted by rain and hail and it's just not stopping for them and how you can kind of be their umbrella. Bad lighting, great lighting. Bad lighting, great lighting. So step number one, if you ever see someone getting bullied, and this is mostly the people in school, make sure that you are not putting yourself in any sort of danger. Intervene if you can, but don't put yourself in a space where you yourself are going to be hurt or injured. But remember that there is power in numbers and there's power in actions. So going in alone, when you see three people gaining in on one person, that's still going to be three versus two. So now that you have decided whether or not you're in any sort of danger, it's the time to decide do I intervene or do I go tell an adult? Either way, both of those things are going to happen. It's up to you to decipher what order they happen in. So if you see someone up against a locker and some other guy is pointing at him and calling him a faggot and calling him a loser and a pussy and that he should just go die, it is completely appropriate and completely safe for the most part for you to go and say, hey, stop that. We all hear you. And to make them know that you know what's going on, that you are aware and alert of the situation. So the next thing to do is to go tell an adult. So the second that you get the, the victim away from the bully, take him and yourself as a witness and go talk to whatever teacher is really close by. The sooner you talk to an adult after the incident, the sooner it's gonna get reported with the most accurate of details. If at any point you feel that they are in any sort of danger, you need to go talk to a teacher immediately. Even if you have to leave the scene as a witness, someone needs to get an adult if you feel like they're in any sort of danger. So now let's talk more about how you can actually be that umbrella. When you're bullied, it affects you to the point where you start feeling yourself that the things that they are doing and the things that they say to you are true and that you deserve it. It's never enough to just tell a teacher. Like, it's never enough to just get them punished. It's gonna happen again. And that was one thing that really bugged me, is that I told my principals and my counselors and my teachers numerous, numerous, numerous times. And my English teacher was always like really nice and really respondent and she did things and she stopped it for me. And one of the tech lab teachers, she was really awesome and she would like let me go and sit with her in the morning so I wasn't around them. Like, those two teachers were really powerful in making that umbrella for me. But the rest of the school, like, I told and told and told, and they would sometimes get punished and sometimes get not, and nothing else would happen. And so the people would stop doing it for a day or two when, they're, when the attention is on them, but then they would come back to doing it. 
So you need to be those two teachers. They didn't just go and affirm for me. They came and they let me come into their classrooms. They came and they talked to me and they let me know that I wasn't the only person that had ever had this problem. They talked to me and they let me know that I didn't deserve it and that it's stupid that they're doing this. You need to be that person that's like, hey, you don't deserve this. Like, don't let these people mess with you. Um, you, you deserve more friends around you. You deserve positive energy. You deserve to be happy. You deserve to feel safe coming here like to school, you know? Be that friend. Don't just be the person that's signing a witness statement and, and an incident report. Go and be an actual friend and let them know that there, are, there aren't just people that hate you out here. There are also people that love you. So I hope that you enjoyed this little kind of ranty, speechy video. And I hope that you got the little umbrella part of it. Um, so, but again, this was an experience that I have dealt with personally, which is why I felt it appropriate to do on Life Experiences Week. But I just wanted you all to reaffirm everything and just remember that sometimes you just need to be a friend. And sometimes people just need to hear some loving and encouraging words for a change. Um, that's the end of this video. I hope that you stay tuned for next week. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Watch everyone else's videos from last week and this upcoming week. Stay tuned. And go ahead and follow us on Twitter. The description is in the link. My personal Twitter will also be in the link. And um, check out our website. Our website is slowly getting more and more awesome. Um, there, it's, it's already epic. So I really hope that you guys enjoy and that you stay in contact with Press Play. of prisoner YouTube creationist objective to birth a new viral video